Hi, my name's Benjamin Bailey, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use GIMP to open images and then convert them to another file format. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go over here and grab a simple painting I did with my paint. I'm going to drag this up a little bit. Now the first thing you need to notice is that up here it says painting underscore dot png. Painting underscore b is the file name and dot png is the file extension. Now png is a very useful file format for doing things with transparency or alpha, but it's not quite as compatible as say JPEG. So let's go down to file, save as, and then if you have it set to all files, then you can just select the last part of the text, the extension, and then change it to JPG, which is JPEG. Alternatively, you could go all the way down and find it in this little browser, this little drop down window. And let me see if I can find it. It's JPEG right here, JPEG, and then you can save it as like that. I already have it saved, so I'm going to just replace it. And then another thing is the compression. The way GIMP handles JPEG compression is that the higher the number, the higher quality image. But the lower the number, the more compression, and so the less quality of the image. Compression is just there to save file space. Now, 85 is a very safe number for general usage. If you want it at 100, that's great to keep your image quality top notch, but um, anything lower than say 70 is gonna look, start looking bad and have artifacts, which are little um, details that are messed up. All right, so we can just save it as 85% and then save. And then you'll notice up here it says painting underscore B dot JPEG. So now it's a JPEG. If you go over to the image in the file browser, you can just open it up and voila, you have it as a JPEG. For instance, yeah, so there you go. Um, you can also save images to all sorts of different file types. GIMP's native file type is called .xcf, and I'll get into that more in a different video. But, so you know, GIMP supports a whole lot of different image file types. For instance, bitmap, JPEG, GIF, even Photoshop PSD files. So you can open up other files, edit them, and then save them as, and um, stay compatible with the rest of the world. A note, though, is that PSD files don't work as well in GIMP, and some features aren't supported. But for the most part, you have a lot of flexibility with exporting files to different image types, and uh, it's very useful. So enjoy converting your photos in case you need to be more compatible with the world. That's all. See you next time.